the cut in voltage of a diode in the circuit shown below is 0.7 then find v not if v in is 1 volt if you can see this picture here the diode is forward bias only when anode is more positive than cathode but if the diode is on here with 0.7 volt drop 1 minus 0.7 the, out the output voltage would be 0.3 so let's check the nature of the diode by applying Thevenin equivalent to this So in this circuit, if you apply KCL at this node, VTH minus of minus 10 by 20K plus VTH minus 10 by 10K, the sum of currents that leave a junction is zero. From this, I came to know that VTH is 3.3 volt. So if I can draw an equivalent for this, one volt at anode and 3.3 at cathode here, this is RTH anode is given at 1 and cathode is at 3.3 so the diode is reverse bias if the diode is reverse bias here it's almost an open circuit then the output is vth which is 3.3 volt so here uh, uh, in the options 3.3 volt is the right answer In the circuit shown below, D1 and D2 are ideal diodes, then find the output voltage. If you see this circuit, the diode that experiences more potential difference will switch on. Out of these two diodes, V1 is given 10 and V2 is at 5, so it is understood that D1 is on and D2 is off. With this assumption, if you apply voltage divider rule, then the output voltage V0 is going to be 9 volt. So with 9 volt at cathode and at anode, if it is 5, then naturally V2 is, uh, the D2 diode is off and D1 is on. So the answer is D1 on and D2 off and V0 is equal to 9 volt. In the circuit shown below, D1 and D2 are ideal diodes. What are the values of V1 and V2 in steady state? If you can see, this is a simple doubler circuit, as you all know, and V in is given as 5 sin omega t. So let us talk about the steady state voltages. During positive cycle, when this diode is forward bias, the maximum voltage V1 can reach is 5 volt. 
But after the capacitor is fully charged, in steady state, if you see the voltage across the first diode here, it is V in minus 5. Now what happens during negative cycle? In negative cycle, when this diode is forward bias, then if you apply the loop equation here for a negative input of 5 volt, this capacitor is going to charge here to 10 volt. Now what is the relation between V2 and 10? V2 is going to be minus 10 because this is the path for positive cycle and this is the path for negative cycle. So in negative cycle, if the capacitor voltage is 5 and the maximum negative input is minus 5, then the voltage here Vc2 is going to be 10 volt. But in the problem, he has asked you V2. So what is the relation between V2 and Vc2? V2 is minus Vc2, which is minus 10 volt. So as I, re I repeat, the capacitor will charge to Vm and the diode voltage is V in minus Vm. This capacitor will charge to 2 Vm and the diode voltage here is minus of V in plus Vm. But if you talk about the transient state, this will attain 2 Vm or 10 volt by uh, the transient analysis. For example, this is 5, this is going to be 5 or Vm, Vm plus Vm by 2 plus Vm by 4 plus Vm by 8, so on. So in steady state, the uh, this, this goes up to infinite. In steady state, it is A by 1 minus R, which is going to be 10 volt, where A is the, uh, the first term and R is the common ratio, right? So this is something like an infinite series. But in steady state, if this is 5, this is going to be 10. So the first diode will give V in minus Vm. Second diode is going to be minus of V in plus Vm. If you put the third diode, it is again V in minus Vm. The fourth diode is going to be minus of V in plus Vm. Fifth diode is V in minus Vm and so on, right? So this is 5 and this is 10 volt. For the transistor circuit shown below, VB on is 0.7, VC sat is 0.2, beta is given 50, but he has asked you to find the approximate power dissipation in the transistor. Let us calculate all the node voltages and currents. IE is given 1 milliampere here. And what is the relation between IE and IC? IC is beta by beta plus 1 into IE. This is approximately 1 milli. IB is 1 milli by beta is 0.02. Let us calculate the voltages now. VB is IB into 50K, which is around 1 volt. Then what is VE? It is 1 plus 0.7. This is 1.7 volt. And VC equal to IC into 4.7K minus 9, which is minus 4.3. So the power dissipation is given as VEC multiplied by IC. What is VEC here? VE minus VC, VE is 1.7 and VC is minus 4.3 into 1 milliampere, which is approximately 6 milliwatt. So the power dissipation is 6 milliwatt.
the two transistors Q1 and Q2 are shown in the figure. You are asked to find the input resistance seen at this port Rn. The Q1 equivalent is given here and the Q2 equivalent is drawn here. An emitter of Q1 is shorted to base of Q2. For finding the input resistance Rn, let us connect a known voltage source V here and find current I. So what is V? V is equal to IB1 into R pi 1 plus 1 plus beta IB1 into R pi 2. And what is R pi, what is IB1 here? IB1 is nothing but the current that is coming from the positive terminal. Therefore, V by I is V by IB1 is equal to R pi 1 plus 1 plus beta times of R pi 2. So, this is the input resistance seen at the input port 